78 years ago, American forces stormed the beaches of Normandy. With them, Elmer Wishard, who was laid to rest in Rusk County earlier today. Julia Lopez reports. On June 6, 1944, American forces landed on the beaches of Normandy, beginning the months-long battle that many consider crucial to the Allied victory in World War II. Elmer Wishard of Tony, Wisconsin, was one of the American pilots who aided in that victory. The best story about Elmer is that 78 years ago today, he was flying over Normandy. He passed away last week at 101 years old, and today he was buried with honors. When I learned that he was 23 years old and he had stormed the beachhead of Normandy and survived and lost a lot of his comrades, but then he went on to uh, face and, and survive many multiple battles in World War II, uh, I was humbled. And so I did everything I could to bring honor and uh, to his memory. Woody spent hours on the phone, inviting veterans from four counties across Wisconsin to send him off, and they accepted. I always remember him as flying over the bridge Memorial Day and dropping the wreath. Wishard gave Fed a place piloting lessons in the 50s. Other former students said he was the kind of person who would teach you a deeper lesson without you even realizing it. Friends who knew him from the Drop Zone Bar and Grill in Ladysmith said he was driving just a couple weeks ago and always ordered the hottest wings on the menu. All of them agreed Wishard had the best stories. He considered himself to be one of the luckiest pilots ever because he only had one bullet hole in his wing on one plane. When he would open up and start speaking, I always felt like I was a kid in kindergarten waiting for him to recite a story. He's an inspiration to me and, and a lot of people. He's just someone that you're proud to know. That was Julia Lopez reporting. Wishard was in Madison just a few months ago, being recognized as a hometown hero by the Wisconsin State Assembly for his years in the U.S. Army Air Corps in Europe.